I have this, I have a pretty bright light that shines directly onto my yeah. shiny head. Yeah. The zoo makes me look sweaty too. Like this bit, the shine it looks like I'm dripping in sweat, but like I'm not. Like it's dry. I just have a shiny head. It's it's magnificent. Primarily critical of movies at an after party. This would be it. If you have not seen this film, we suggest that you do so before consuming any further. Because we got spoilers, trivia, and opinions like crazy, and we cannot wait to share them. Good, bad, new, weird, or gross. We will pass judgment on them all. Today, if the gods are unhappy... Just keep killing people until there's an eclipse. My name is Steve, and I'm here with... Bill. And John. Uh, today we're talking about uh, Apocalypto. And um, and uh, this was my pick. Uh, I, I got it uh, recommended to me by a, a mutual friend of ours named Eric. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Right on. Cool pick. Yeah. 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 Uh -huh. yeah. Uh -huh. Have you seen this? Either of you guys has have you seen this before? Uh once before, yeah. Yeah. Never seen it. Never seen it. You never oh. seen it. Oh, okay. I, I, no, I've seen this crap. before, yeah. It, really? I, I, I was surprised that it was subtitled. <laughs> I didn't oh. know. I didn't nope. know. I didn't nope. know. John, how many times have you seen it? Uh this is my second time. I saw it the original, oh. like back when it came out. And yeah. then uh and then now. Yeah. I wish I would have saw this in the theater because this is a this is a brutal and amazing movie. Just just so damn dramatic, intense, intense. Wow. What do you guys think of this movie? It was fun. <laughs> fun? <laughs> Not for poor uh, <laughs> Jaguar. Paul. Yeah, I'm not sure fun would be the word I use for this, but uh, I mean, gory for sure. Oh. It, 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 it's, it's unbelievable it's, amount of killing I, I, in this. I, I, uh, and it's un, it's one of the most brutal <clears throat> and graphic things you're gonna see. I don't know how they got an R rating for this. <laughs> it, 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 yeah, <laughs> like. The amount of dead bodies per per inch in this per centimeter or per, per in the it's just it's it's wow there's, yeah there's a lot of dead people for sure this is um this is supposed to be like some kind of period piece right um and they took yeah. themselves very very seriously they speak uh, authentic Mayan um and Mayan is uh well that culture is is next to gone if not gone <laughs> you know well, they got these big mayan pyramids and uh and uh i honestly thought the mayan civilization was more civilized than than the ways to pick yes in. this okay this is where i wanted to go with this this is I, i've been holding back but i i just i have a problem with this movie this is the same thing i had with green inferno if you guys remember my big rant in green inferno uh, doing the same rant about this um this this is wildly inaccurate this movie it, it depicts the mayan completely unlike the mayan were right and so this is this, my problem is that there's this narrative in white culture that the natives were savages i mean this is you know and and people like to still believe that white people came europeans came along and saved natives from their savagery right that's a narrative that's been going on forever right and <laughs> these movies completely fit into that narrative they just completely feed that narrative and stuff which is it's wildly inaccurate the mind didn't do this stuff i mean there had some minimal sacrifices to please gods but that was it was nothing like depicted here nothing gory like it was here the <laughs> only bit. thing what's that just a little, a few sacrifices. And, and well, what, okay, <laughs> sacrifice was part of their culture, but it was more like they put a child in a well kind of thing um, to try to please the gods. Okay, yeah, the, and this was saying. not something. 
they depict them as doing like a, a sacrifice like every 30 seconds or every minute oh, and was, you, you know was, okay. in the most savage way possible cutting open their heart beheading them and letting their heads roll down this thing for everyone to cheer and stuff i mean they're, yeah they're, they're, just they're, they're giving the the extreme version of whatever little bit of truth there was in history and, well, and, what he's actually doing is taking Aztec culture and trying to put it on the mass uh, on the Maya. You wonder why? Why did they have to do that? Because it well, didn't... cinematic effect. I mean, you know, it it, it and it, like I said, it fits into a narrative that people eat up and love. Well, what what's be honest, honest about this movie is I think it's not historically accurate as you just no, said. No, it's not. Uh, it is like un, and. I read something recently in, in comments about this movie is don't look to, to, to Hollywood. Don't look to movies for history lessons because no. they all fabricate, distort the truth, crank it up a hundred times, throw in this. It's a, it's a movie and it was a fun movie. So I don't think you should take this as fact. No. I, yes, I have a question. I have a question. Um, you, you didn't get, John, you didn't get the impression that at the end of the movie when you see the uh, Spanish conquistadors, um, you don't feel that that was uh, a bit of a harbinger of death? <laughs> I mean, I I saw it as, like, the end is near. These people are, are, yeah. are coming to destroy everything, you know? Everything. Yeah, I did see it that way, yes. Okay. I did. All right. Yes. But further to that, though, is that they... That, the Spanish did not show up uh, until the 1500s there. Later, 1600, apparently. Like, it was, well, was, yeah, 1500s, 1600s. So, 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 so the Mayan civilization was pretty much finished by 900 AD. Yeah, so, I read that. So this is, you're off, they're off by at least 600 years putting these things okay. together historically, right? Okay, okay. Let's, let's throw history out the window because this movie is not accurate. Let's just see the movie for what it was. It's a it's an incredibly intense movie with impossible drama at every turn, with graphic mm -hmm. violence that is unmatched. <laughs> and yes, ah, wow, I I enjoyed this movie. I mean, it, it, I I was just it's it's in in a lot of ways it's just. You don't see movies like this. Movies in the jungle, survival, and uh, like the civilization coming to a point with the temples, and while well, they depict sacri sacrifice, but and as you alluded to, Steve, the uh, uh, Spanish coming in saying that, yeah, you think you're dominant, well, we're gonna kick your eventually kick your ass. Yeah. So there's always the bigger dog <laughs> in the system. So there is. Now we did we covered a movie very similar to this, and I'm going to look it up just because um, I, uh, Phil, you you said you liked this, um, but it was a New Zealand film, and it was called Deadlands. Deadlands movie. Wow. Um, oh yeah, yeah, it is called The Deadlands, and it was it was in 20, uh, 2014, and it was it's a New Zealand film. And it was, it, it's, it's very similar to this, just like old world, brutal, um, and lots of death and blood. And, and I mean, this is the kind of horror movie I dig, you know, um, uh, I hate jump scares. I hate, I hate um, um, <clears throat> creeped out, feeling creeped out. But I mean, give me blood and guts and I'm all over that. You know, I, I, I like my blood and guts, right? Oh well, you get it in this one. You Have you ever seen so many heads roll rolling, <laughs> like torsos? Uh, <laughs> I gotta say, like, but but they they do such a good job of of. Did you realize the movie is basically you're in real time following uh, the main character? There really is no like. It just kind of they. I guess it's. It's it's a it's the pacing of this movie is incredible. It never lets you just relax. There's a few times they do at the beginning when you just hang out with them at the tribe uh, in their your just existing, 
Yeah. And, the, and then it's it's like a half hour into the movie, it's go time. <laughs> and yeah. for the rest of the movie, that guy is running and and just trying to survive. And yeah, wow. There's yeah, one... it's, it's high octane. I mean, it, there's there's this. It's just go go go, and you're right. Uh, the the oh. you know the the threat of death is just it, it, around every, at, at every turn, every, every single turn, and especially yeah. like look at his his wife and child, and she's pregnant in that hole, and it, it even yeah. just and she, on to show her giving birth and everything is just on and on. Because early in the movie, Jaguar Paw says, uh, I hope it doesn't rain. And we just, I didn't cue into it to, till the end when it started raining and flooding that hole. The drama just went up like 100%. She's yeah. going to give birth all of a sudden. It's just like on and on. The, the movie just was relentless with uh, the, the freaking intensity. And wow. <laughs> <laughs> Un unparalleled i can't think of another movie that just doesn't let you just relax <laughs> for a little while no there was there was a supernatural element um uh, yeah. there, was, there was this girl prophet um uh, and they were they were going through uh the, some kind of plague lands and, I, and this girl looked like she might have leprosy or something like that yeah smallpox yeah. or smallpox yeah, right. yeah, I, yeah. I don't know yeah. Um, and and, uh, and they they didn't want to help her. They didn't want to get anywhere near her. They didn't want her to get anywhere near them. And she starts spewing a um, it could be a curse or some kind of a, a, um, a, a premonition or a prophecy. Prophecy, prophecy. premonition. Yeah. yeah, that's a good way to look at. It. Yeah, uh, I wasn't the, the jaguar man is going to kill you all or something, right? Yeah, and, essentially. And, and to your point, Steve, throughout the movie. Even the the uh, henchmen, the soldiers of this whacked out culture, <clears throat> are starting to buy into the, all the myths and legends and God. I, you know, they they start saying, "Whoa, you know, there's something to this, right?" They're spooked. They're all starting to. The big trend. Uh, there's a big thread throughout the movie is fear, right? Being yeah. in fear of something. Because yes. And his dad had to talk to him about uh, that look in the other tribe when they were going through, and that's fear. And he said, "Let's not talk about that because uh, yeah. fear is like a disease; it's contagious." And so, even the bad guys were starting to feel the fear of this curse or or, or legend or the stories. Yeah, yeah, and, and it's kind of weird that the the royalty, the the king or whatever his name, the guy that was sitting on top of the the Mayan pyramid covered, uh, he, covered he, in blood covered in blood. He wasn't really the bad guy. He never got his comeuppance, but, uh, but the, the, the slavers, the team of slavers, they, they, uh, they had their, they had their very cinematic downfall at, as, as Jaguar paw made his way home. Yes. I loved, if I had to pick a favorite scene, it was the, uh, the wrapping up of uh, a, a wasp or bees nest in a, Big oh. leaf and rolling it oh, up yeah. towards them. I thought that was well, that was brilliant. Yeah, it was. Absolutely. It was neat that the little things they pulled out of the uh, of the uh, Amazon rainforest. Absolutely. Yes. Do you realize how well uh, they this movie did a job of of making you just absolutely hate these captors, these these soldiers just doing their job with an absolutely uh, psychopathic guy uh, that was slighted early in the movie by Jaguar Paw, right? He, yeah. best, he, he bested him as they uh, raped and pillaged their village, their little tribe. And throughout the movie, they just treated them like shit. And, yeah. the, and at the moment, Jaguar Paw actually started getting his revenge. And when he declared himself... I am the hunter of the forest. That was a powerful moment. He's like, it's on. And he used the forest against them and loved it. Loved all that. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the brutality of this in this movie was just over the top, it, right? It, it was it just, was. It, it was over the top. And you, I can't even think of like, of uh, something real in human history that was that brutal. Now I'm sure there was, I'm sure there's battles that were just that grisly, that ugly. Right. Oh. But, 
when holy you, crap this is you can't really get worse than this this is about no. as bad as human behavior can get as far as brutality towards other humans you know it, it makes you realize like how when men when man i i single out the man of the species being the brutal part of our sex it's just yeah. if they're not checked if they're not policed or or controlled this is the end result <laughs> yes but this is once again i have to go to the thing this is not historically, not historically accurate right but so through time uh, really as far as brutality goes in history europeans uh, just take the cake and, and we were not going to get that in in a movie i mean I, we might but not in the same way uh, in our in a race war like uh well, well i shouldn't say there's a race war but uh, uh throughout history and, and and across the globe there's been evil executed slowly we're trying to get to a more civilized civilized yes. world and yeah i mean we think we got it bad now with 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 anti this anti that and and uh worrying about current state of government control if a if a movie like this is depicting what it could have been like accurate or not like we got it good <laughs> it's like life back then must have sucked balls if you're on the <laughs> other, other side of the power structure because <laughs> it was brutal so yeah. we're, we're back to sucking a bag of dicks um uh, absolutely. <laughs> uh yeah well uh, early civilization was uh, was it had, had they, to it, oh man yeah, I don't know how much do they know about the Mayans and the Incans and all that stuff compared. I know it's a very old civilization, and and I know, like like. Well, they know. I mean, they had advanced uh, understanding. Like the Mayan were actually unique in many ways because they were ahead of a lot of other cultures of that time, other natives of that time. They had, uh, I believe, they had a, a system of a calendar of sorts. They had um, Mayan calendar. You know, yeah, and and they also had uh, yeah, look well, and their structures. I mean, they, it was quite ad, ad, advanced, you know. And and once again, I just want to say they were a civilized people. They weren't these crazy, yeah. well, barbaric, uh, over the top, brutal people. That's just not accurate, you know, right. Yeah, it's it's almost yeah, so like it, why didn't the movie just try to not like make that. Well, because it's it's like I said, this cell is high octane. It's brutal. People love it, and it fits into a narrative that people love. People love feeling like Europeans, you know, we took over these savages, and we, it justifies well, but, our but, invasion, right? It makes us feel good that <laughs> oh, oh, hey, we see, came I, along and saved these savages from we, we don't, their crazy no, world no. that they lived in, right? And, and so, but but John, I I didn't take that from the movie. What I took from the movie is the Spanish are coming. And they're going to destroy anything you thought you had in control. The same way yes. it has happened throughout history. And it has happened in North America. In history, though, we, we call it justified brutality. Is well, that we go because we were, you know, the Crusades and every, every we always had a, we were God, we were God, God was backing us. You know, it was a, and that's, a God-given that's, right for us to go in and, and help these people. But, Yet we're... But isn't that what the movie was saying? The bigger dogs took, uh, came down and beginning a tribe, the Mayan, and not hi historically accurate. We're, we're yeah. This is just a, a well, let's say at this point, it's a movie that says yeah, this yeah. power structure came down on this little village tribe and, and yeah, and stole their, uh, destroyed them, and then later on the bigger shark comes in, in Spanish, and. Uh, it has happened throughout time where dominant with power and military might and uh, uh, technology has dominated other people. And it's, it's, it's terrible, but it's history, you know, like, yeah, like it has happened with the Europeans yeah. coming to settle North America and so on. Did the you Vikings, guys, like, did you guys um, uh, have trouble keeping track of the names? I had a lot oh, of trouble with the names. Absolutely, uh, I did. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I love. Let's just take a moment. How authentic did it feel? The movie felt so unlike anything you've seen, like all in the jungle, 
like and and acted really well as far as i could say i mean subtitles i'm not a big fan of subtitle movies but i was i thought it, felt, it was i thought the authenticity felt great yeah you're right like i think just you know we don't know what language they're speaking if it was authentic apparently it was authentic but happy it, it, all time movies the, right yeah <laughs> it, it, there, it gave an authenticity to it the fact that it wasn't yeah. in english you can and tell so, that the interpretation was for a north american dialect because they would say yeah. things like they're fucked uh, there's one line and i would yeah i really i was engaged with this movie to the point where i, I wanted to what did they say like such a, it's a yeah. strong defi- I, like okay the the giant uh like general of the 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 mayan guy he was just like intense he was the father to the uh the, the guy he passes on the yeah the guy with the three uh human ch- human Trimble. jaws and like yeah. wow yeah. has what anyone here has anyone here been to uh south america uh, yeah, I went to I Mexico not. a couple times. And oh, I yeah? actually... Where, where'd you go? Mayan, I went to the Mayan Ria, Riviera. And oh, really? I got to see some of the... Uh, uh, what they allow you to see, you basically just observe it. You can't climb up a, it like they did in the past. Did, did they throw you some severed heads or...? No. See, any, did you right. see any skulls, uh, no. any piles of skulls around there? No. 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 I think we all understand that. <laughs> what I gather and understand, they were intelligent people that yeah. were yeah. Um, probably the most civilized people in that part of the world at that time. They came up with a a calendar. Uh, they understood the solar, like uh, the the weather patterns and and seasons, right? Because the cal- you know, calendar to say at certain times of the year things are going to happen. And one of the most interesting things that I got from that trip was the uh, guide alluded to, and I, I, I tried to research this before our uh, review here today, is that I guess the, uh, the powers that be ha- withheld knowledge to control the citizens to say magical things will happen because they understood <laughs> understood the calendar. And at certain times of the year, certain things would happen, and they, yeah, they boom well, bazzled them with knowledge. And I, so they I, knew I, they knew there was going to be an eclipse or something, and so they. Well, just, that's in the movie. They, they allude yeah. to that, and whether or not the priest at the time, the priest that was uh, facilitating the sacrifices, uh, knew that or not. Like, but to the citizens, they were just like, and just their minds are blown. Uh, yeah. Could you imagine being able to predict something will happen? We're going to have rain or we're going to, it's going to be cold for this time of period of. Yeah, you know, people look at you like you're God. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. It's and like, the movie tried like, to say uh, that, right? They're, they're, they know. They like. Like a high end uh, magic trick nowadays. <laughs> yeah. Imagine if we looked at our weathermen like they were God. Yeah. I, mean, I just look at I, I don't. I, 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 I know. Think they just lie to us to get us through the week. That's my opinion. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm, I'm thinking the Mayans are much more accurate though than our weather <laughs> so. so that's just amazing stuff to me and i think like john alluded to not historically accurate but as a movie no. it's i i'm i just really i have another question about this movie i have another question um when they are taking these slaves away uh and and th- these poor children are just being abandoned because uh, oh, yes. they're no use as slaves and they didn't want to bother killing them so oh, too, much, too much work to too much work so yeah. they just leave I, the kids and the kids they start following these slavers and they start uh compiling it starts oh they have other kids and other kids and other kids and then at some point there's a big wad of kids and um and and there's there's one older kid and they get to a river and the and the this older kid realizes that they're not going to follow the adults across the river because they'll all die yeah so this, this this girl and this group of kids presumably uh leave to form their own uh tribe and uh you know good luck to them but i really thought at the end of the movie they were going to, to reunite uh, with join, 
yeah, reunite with Jaguar. And See, I was looking for that payoff too, and yeah. I was disappointed. I, I would have liked that payoff as a viewer. I think that would have been nice. Oh, it would have been great. It would have been like a brand yeah. new tribe of, of really nice people. Yes. That, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, I, I hear what you're saying, because as far as we know, uh, Jaguar and the family just go off into the sunset and live a life, but we never have that closure with the kids. Mm-hmm. But you know, you got to start thinking after you watch enough Mel Gibson directed films that he just loves to be brutal and just, no, no, you can't get the payoff. You know, Actually, what else, I was, you know, Actually, the Christ, uh, he's been in other movies like Braveheart. It's just brutal. <laughs> Humans I, I was, are brutal. Brutal. Mel Gibson is a brutal man. Uh, but I was also I, looking I, for, I, I was also looking for the wife to rescue herself. I really thought. Yeah. Oh, I really. She was I was. Close. I was she hoping. Was very close. She yeah. Tried. She tried, and and <laughs> and. I think that would have been brilliant. I mean, I, yeah. imagine she just barely escapes, and he shows up right after. It would have been. Beautiful. Yes, that would have. Been, I would have liked that better too. That yeah, he got back and found that she got out on her own. That would have been lovely. That would have been nice. That would have yeah. been nice. But uh, you know, our, they they went for an angle, and I guess I can't fault them for it. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. Can. I mean, it's Mel Gibson. I mean, he, you know, whatever. I, I'm not. I, I'm not saying I'm, I'm, I, I. I hate Mel Gibson, but I'm not the the biggest fan either. Not, you know, not the biggest fan. Yeah. Well, he 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 could he could have done better in certain situations. Um, yeah. Uh, but I mean, we were, my last pick had Mel Gibson in it too, and I'm not some kind of I'm not well advocating his, <laughs> his I, I, behavior in certain situations. Yeah. I don't, I, I, you know, his personal life aside, personal I mean, life aside, I think he's a, gr- a pretty damn good director. I think I agree, but I mean, it takes a team of people to make a movie like this, and this movie to me is from the cin- cinematography. Uh, everything about it, the acting, the the the, the it's just pretty it was awesome. very well done. It was very well very done. Very well done. And and I um, I find that these movies become more dangerous when they're well done because people watch them and actually and, feel and, the and, authenticity and, of it and they think this is historically accurate because it was so well done. You know, if right. you see a, a shitty done movie, you go, well that's probably not true anyway, because John, you know it just seems like such a shitty movie, right? John, that's one of the best points you've ever made about reviews and in, in, in primarily critical. Exactly. <laughs> you hit it on the nail. You hit the nail on the head. Like Titanic, we just reviewed that one. Yeah. People believe that's what happened. There's a jacket. People there's think a rose. yeah, Rose. Right? Exactly. They actually right? think that they're on. Yeah. Do it too well. And and I would say like a director like Tarantino Tino messes with history and it's not accurate, but who's to say, <laughs> you know, you yeah. watch the movie and all that. Wow. Yeah, if your if your only exposure to Hitler was the Inglorious Bastards, you're gonna think that's how he died. <laughs> I, I think I think we can file Apocalypto in that category. I think we can do that. Where it's not, yeah. you know, just enjoy it for its spectacle, like its amazing movie making uh, production. Yeah. Very well done. Very well Absolutely. executed. Absolutely, it still stands Acting's up. impeccable. The filming's impeccable. It's Everything impeccable. was just right. Yeah. It's it's you over. Know? It's I, like 15 years ago this movie came out. It's it, yeah. it it's it's damn good, if you can stomach it. <laughs> it's true. It's very. If you boring. like heads rolling and blood spurting out after a tomahawk weapon <laughs> strikes you. <laughs> I really thought for most of this movie, I, I really thought that um, a Spanish dude would pop out of nowhere, right? I really thought that they like, they had made a deal with a tribe. And the oh, yeah. laborers were rounding up. <clears throat> I thought for sure the Spanish guys were going to show up way earlier. Well, yeah. I mean, as soon as you start seeing, uh, you know, uh, the Aboriginals, the natives of the area, gathering up other natives to take them prisoner, uh, you, your mind goes, "Oh, this the white people must be here." Uh, and they <laughs> struck a deal with them, right? And because yeah. that's probably the the reality of how that usually went down, right? I mean, that's yeah. probably why because it's white people that came up with the idea of slaves. Right, so you know, it well, seemed like oh, they're probably selling them to slavery. I mean, you know, uh, we don't, we don't, did we know that? I don't know. No, we 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 don't know, know anything. I wasn't there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but, uh, yeah, but, but, we, but what I assume is the tribe that we get introduced to 
and they do a good job of setting up and and making you care about this village of people. Did they have any clue that like I don't know a day's travel away they're building these temples and they're sacrificing people? Were they not scouting the area? They're hunters. They should know their area. That did, was a kind of we, yeah. That's that's a good point. You would think they would have gone. That was a weird point for me. Wouldn't they yeah. get wind of that? Wouldn't they say there's some shit going down out there? They're building this crazy technology. They did make talk about the, the area of the stone or something. So there was reference to that. that uh, they'd yeah. heard about this, but that was right, within, within a day's travel. They should have known this in any this, reality. Yeah, because this movie takes over the course of like two days, right? Like yeah. roughly. The part it, uh, it's gonna it's gonna stop right away. Oh, oh. okay. Yeah. And so I'll I'll send another link right away. Okay. Hold that thought, Phil. Yeah, Hold that I thought. A beer anyway. So it's yeah. your time. <laughs> While that we were a little hiatus, I did look something up, and and slavery's been going on forever. Not just it's it's all cultures. If you date yeah. back far enough, everybody was involved in slavery. So, you know. It's, oh. Yeah, it's pretty, it's no, pretty no. invasive. It, it's just the evil of man. They just... Yeah. They... <laughs> Is that body squirting blood out of its... Yep. Yeah. I, I found this pick for us. To that's, just... a, that's a gem. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there was uh, the... Okay, so there was uh, quite a few villains in the movie, but um, the 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 one we get the most satisfaction out of his death is this jackass. Uh, what what can't remember his name, um, but he had a squirting neck wound. Squirt. At the end, he was yeah. the bad, the big bad, wasn't he? No, no, there was. The leader of the slavers died in a trap. Yes. Uh, he got died, spiked. Died in, a, in a pig trap. Yeah. Yeah. You're talking um, about the guy that called him almost. Yeah. Yeah. The guy that called called him almost. He had a squirting squirting neck wound. I wish I'm just trying to remember his name. That's all. Anyway. Yeah, I, I don't remember his name either. Phil, did you I'm were you to look it up adequately look it up. satisfied with his death? Oh, absolutely. All 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 of it. It, you know, when you you want to really see someone suffer during death, is you want them to have that moment where they realize they're dying, and they can't do anything about it, and you get to, you know to look them in the eye and go, "Yes, I'm watching you die." Right? That's yeah. That's the ultimate payoff for you know that kind of scenario, right? Yes, as 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 for viewers, for sure. Yeah. Well, as we're, you know, as we're consuming a movie. It, it, yeah. it, it is a movie. Let's not think it's history. It's just a movie that does a absolutely amazing job of making you hate the captors and how they treat those guys. Just yeah. it's, it's just so awful. And it just got worse and worse and worse and worse until yeah, the it where, fuels that that uh that revenge, revenge. in you. Like you, you want to see that revenge that, like Yes, you want to see that revenge and get back. These people raped and killed his family, right? And so, you know, uh, it, it just brings out the worst in you, right? Okay. And, and you, you just want to see them. <laughs> well, yes. Yeah. Because it's so bad. It's so brutal. Like, yeah. he loses everything. He loses all his friends, friends and his family. All he has left to get back to, and he does, is his wife and children. And he gets back, and wow, what a satisfying thing at the end, right? It's just yeah. incredible. Like, what he had to go through to get to that point was just... You know, you know I'm, I'm trying to think of the parallels between um, Braveheart, The Passion of the Christ, and Apocalypto. All they all... They all <laughs> They're suffering. all pretty, pretty <laughs> suffering. brutal. They're all suffering, they're, and they all have one, one guy that's... Uh, um, let's try to survive it. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, and it 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 it's pretty amazing to see his journey. If you're if you have enough stomach for it, 
I mean, I've seen people say it's too brutal, it's too graphic, and yes, and yes, it is. But it's R-rated. I mean, this isn't PG-13 and all that. This is it, like... <laughs> it earned it. it oh, <laughs> like, this is the max, man. This is like... How did yeah, and once not? again, this goes... Once again, this goes to the back... The fact that it was filmed with such quality that there, it's not the laughable... Where, like, like you said, Quentin Tarantino's is a perfect example of where the effects are are, are so over the top that it it's it brings a, a phoniness to it that is laughable, right? Like, uh, um, you know, it's not times, real, right? Yeah, yeah, you you understand, but yeah, like John said, it it certain movies are so uh, feel so authentic and and realistic that it it really sticks with you, and it and this one, yeah, wow, yeah. All right, let's get into this trivia. Let's. Um, uh, many substantial speaking roles were filled by Mayan people who had never acted before. Sick Girl, uh, that's that's her name in the credits, uh, who curses the haunting, hunting party as they and the captives pass right before entering the city, was played by a seven-year-old who lived in a dirt-floored hut in a village similar to Jaguar Paws. So um, there are very, very um, there. There are tribes living in the Amazon rainforest right now that are. Um, some say some of them are undiscovered. Um, yeah. there, there are still first contact people supposedly in the Amazon rainforest, uh, but we we don't know that. I mean, they're undiscovered. <laughs> right? How would we know? How, how, how satellites? You know, hard to, maybe hard to believe that still exists. <clears throat> yeah, but yeah. That was a it, wow. that was a cool scene. Like uh, Stevie alluded to earlier, like some kind of like other things at play, like um, it kind of a godlike uh, thing with that girl. Like she knew that the jag jaguar paw was upon the scene, and. It was yeah. an eerie, eerie, eerie thing. Even the soldiers were like, oh, crap, stay away. Like, they were... Yeah. You they know, were... it was so weird. I, You would think that throwing a scene like that into the movie would have would have took took me out of it. You know what it would yeah, have been like? Yeah, it was borderline, like, too fantastical. It was, like, it was too, a little... Yeah. yeah little too magical. Yeah. yeah. Good point, good point, yeah. I like this next piece of trivia. Sure, you take it then. Okay. Uh, Mel Gibson claimed that Rudy Youngblood, which was Jaguar, was genuinely running from the Jaguar, which is only kept from reaching him by a tether. Gibson added, you can't train a Jaguar. <laughs> okay. Does that mean that he yeah. tried? <laughs> this reminds me of James Cameron. I mean, this is, you know, you want authenticity from your actors, you you know, you just gotta get them shit scared and running. Yeah. I, I feel like a Mel Gibson direction is like pushing you to your limits kind of director. But I don't know this for a fact, but it looks like in his acting days with Road Warrior and uh, all he's done is probably pushed him to like say, I can do it, actor. I know I've been that in that place. You could do yeah. it, damn it. I want pain. I want to see the blood sweat on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> I've done it. Yeah. I want to see the Jaguar closer to him. Yeah. yeah. So uh, that's a cool piece of trivia. Yeah. Wow. That was, that was um, really interesting how they filmed that, that he was running away from the Jaguar and the hunting team was chasing him. And then yeah. they discovered the Jaguar. Just, it, it was, it, it, that was another thing that could have easily been unbelievable, but it was. Oh, uh, this, yeah. this movie absolutely stands up even after all these years like it's 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 something to behold there's scenes like in the background of the temples where you see the priest and he's looking down on the people it's just breathtaking it's a huge epic this movie is epic it just builds from a like a jungle tight little tribe to this epic the temples and like pretty damn amazing yeah. stuff it's a city you, you would think that they knew they were living so close to a city yeah. yeah. Yeah, you mentioned that yeah. earlier. Yeah. yeah. Take yeah. this next piece right here. Okay. Uh, during filming, severe flooding in so southern Mexico displaced at least a million people. The crew helped with flood relief. 
Oh, that's nice. Was that nice? Yeah, you know, and we when we were even covering Green Inferno, um, uh, that was uh, 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 Eli Roth. Yes, yeah, Eli Roth. Yeah, yeah, Eli Roth flick. Anyway, um, the villagers had a blast. Apparently, <laughs> they did. Yeah. yeah. Um. So it, good. Good on the crew of Apocalypto. The next piece of trivia goes something like this: a white powder being mined and processed. Uh, that's is, is lime. It's supposed to be lime, uh, which is used for building. It is also dangerous if inhaled, causing irritation and inflammation. The workers who are coughing the lime dust have a brief life uh, expectation, as can be seen by the worker who is coughing up blood. The substance is caustic enough that it is used to accelerate the decomposition of corpses. This is a little disjointed, this, this uh, trivia bit. But yeah, yeah, yeah. so way back in the day, um, they used lime to build things, and lime is not cool for your lungs. Uh, yeah, basically, it looked like hell for those people. It, it yeah. likes slaves. Like, oh, man. Like, think of, of uh, Egyptian temples that were built, all of it built on slavery. It's just awful. <laughs> I mean, there's nothing to say. Just, yeah, you had it. all I have to say again, uh, watch this movie and think if you think your life's bad right now, <laughs> it could have been that. No, or I'm, I'm not in any you could have this, of, you uh, had this guy hunting him down. <laughs> yeah, you could, I could have that could have been my my uh, my tormentor, yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's got quite a look about him, doesn't he? He's a, oh, what? It, it, wow, wow! What? What? A, yeah, all, all the. What a so dude! Intense, yeah. So brutal, intense. Like every turn, every turn, every part of this movie was pretty much a heart, heart pounder. Like do, do, do. they had a lot of piercings and tattoos, and uh, maybe even some. Um, uh, what do they call it when you when you bring uh, uh, branding, right? Like branding. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It was it's quite a bit of that. Lots, it, lots of body modifications. It's unlike any movie you've seen because we're so used to like people looking uh, generic in North America or whatever throughout movies, clothes and and not like it's very different. Not many tribal jungle movies out there, like westerns we get we get uh i enjoy i really enjoy movies like this right where you get to see a different slice of history even if it's not accurate at all bad history yeah <laughs> bad history but they try to make you think about how brutal or how it might have been <clears throat> so, basically naked in the jungle. yeah so. i will i will have to give it a try sometime not <laughs> Naked in the jungle. <laughs> um, okay, is is that apocalypto, gentlemen? I think that's apocalypto. I think that's a. I think that might be, that might be a wrap, gentlemen. Um, Good pick. Uh, uh, that was apocalypto. We are primarily critical, and you are awesome for joining us. Uh, we have we have clothing that you can buy from us if you like clothing, and. Um, and uh, what movie are we doing next? I don't know. Oh, a river it's probably... runs through it. Yes. Uh, yes. Yes. A river runs through it. Um, a nice classic. John, uh, why yes. did you pick it without any spoilers? Uh, well, I just I thought it was time to do a movie that is just uh, visually spectacular. I, I love the the filming of this movie, and I was it was tossing up between I thought. Uh, this that one or the last Mohicans, which is another one I found was visually fantastic, you know. And so, um, but I opted for this one. I just, uh, yeah. So you know, we'll talk more about it when on the podcast. I can't wait. I can't wait to talk about it. Um, you guys, uh, you guys pimping anything? You put on a new album at all? No. <laughs> well, we did the, the one up a gal jig. You know, that was that's a recent release that uh, you know we're pretty proud of that one. The Song Wanna Pig Out crew, they have yeah. a YouTube channel. You need to check that out. I will try my very best to remember to put a link in the description. But you can uh, you can search us on all your favorite streaming services. So please do. Yeah. 
the and one please. at Pagal. It's 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 just so easy to remember. You know, one at Pagal. Just a, <laughs> it's such a simple name. You know. Yeah, yeah, and the spelling is just right there. You know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's on his shirt. You started. It's on your hat. Yeah. Zoom in. I I have a sweater too. Anyway, anyway, uh, I we 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 will see you later. Bye bye right, guys. There you go, folks. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs>